Welcome back to the Daniel Smith's Primatech series season 2 and in this episode we are going to be checking out the hematite violet genuine. Daniel Smith says hematite stones are milled to a fine pigment to create this stunning watercolour. Rich and shadowy violet washes are studded with a pattern of deep granulation. Bring excitement to neutral tones with this Primatech pigment. Driftwood tree bark and rocky cliffs come alive with texture and drama. Be inspired by this rugged violet that stays true with excellent light fastness. Hematite is ground from a heavy silvery black mineral rich in iron. In a thick wash, the heavy particles settle, creating bold granulation. In a thin wash, it is a beautiful reddish violet grey. Thick or thin, hematite violet mixes wonderfully with other colours. And then it goes on to the same fluff about hematite bloodstone and how ancient warriors painted themselves with it and how large deposits, blah blah blah. Which, if you want to find out more about that, I will link to the hematite burnt scarlet where I read out the whole thing. But it just pains me to read so much fluff. So... Do check out that video if you want to know the full version of that description. It is a series 3 colour, excellent in light fastness, semi-transparent, low staining and granulating. Welcome back, the paints have dried and this is Hematite Violet. First impression, I would say this is the softer, little bit less orangey version of the Hematite Burnt Scarlet. In fact, let's bring that up. This is the Hematite Burnt Scarlet, this is the Hematite Violet. This one definitely has more of a violety tinge than the Burnt Scarlet one has, and it has less of an orange tinge than the Burnt Scarlet one. However, it does definitely still have an orange tinge to the mass tone. I would say this is the little bit cooler, paler version of the Hematite Burnt Scarlet. Let's compare this color with other colors from the Primatech range. This is the Hematite Violet, and I would say that besides the Hematite Burnt Scarlet, there isn't a similar looking colour. Let's look at other colours from Daniel Smith that I have. The granulation is similar to the Lunar Black, but it's a little bit more grey. I think it would be closer to Zoocyte Genuine in the grey granulation part of the colour. And the Lunar Red Rock is quite similar in that warm violety orange undertone that the color has. So if you do have the Lunar Red Rock and the Zoocyte Genuine, it might be fun to mix the two and see how close you can get to this color. In terms of other brands, I don't think I'm gonna find a, another match. Yeah. Shmikes. I'm not gonna find another match there. So it is unique to Daniel Smith's kind of color and texture and the dual coloredness. And I love how the granulation worked on the hot pressed paper. This is a behavior we didn't see in the Hematite Brown Scarlet. Here's the Hematite Brown Scarlet. This is the Hematite Violet. Very different in granulation. And as always, if you wanna take a closer look at any of my test sheets, I put up high-res scans of all my sheets 
over on my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Ottocano. So you can compare these two really closely. I think the difference is so big that you can definitely tell even from the video. It granulates beautifully and you get these patches of orangier color, then the more neutralized color. It's, it's definitely a fun one to do gradation with. However, if you want full control of how your gradation looks, then this isn't the one for you because the colors are gonna go all over the place. You can't predict which bit's gonna be more gray and which bits are gonna be more orange. In terms of opacity, it's classified as semi-transparent. However, I'm not seeing any particles, so I would say that this is a transparent color, but it does have a heavy gray granulation part to the color, which it wouldn't show up on a black color, but it probably would show up on other colors. So maybe semi-transparent, yes. It is classified as low staining, and I would agree with that. It's almost white, but not quite. There's some staining. In terms of glazing, it's not bad for a heavily granulating, relatively easy to lift color. However, you can definitely see the two different layers so you will probably have an easier time glazing with this color than most other heavily granulating colors. When it comes to gauzing, it did a very similar thing to the Hematite Burnt Scarlet in that it separates the two tones so that the oranginess goes to the background and the dark gray pigment collects up in the fibers of the gauze and then settles down onto the paper. It's not as well defined pattern though as the burnt scarlet which is this one this was much more clear than this one so if you are going to use it for gauze then the hematite burnt scarlet is a better option for you than the hematite violet in terms of salt minimal reaction pretty much similar to the burnt scarlet version you do get some separation but it's not a very clear separation in terms of wet in wet it doesn't run away quite as fast as the Hematite Burnt Scarlet, but it does spread pretty well, which definitely helps when it comes to doing your gradated washes. As for color mixes, I think this definitely gives the gray granulation in all the colors, but in a lot more subtler way. Considering this is Burnt Scarlet, this is the violet version, and you can see that the granulation is much more obvious in this than in this. And also you get a softer look with the hematite violet just because it is a much lighter color to begin with. So what do I think of this color? I'm still not comfortable with the oranginess of this color. It's less outrageous than the burnt scarlet, but in terms of my personal taste in color, it's quite pale with this quite strong oranginess. Those are two things that don't really go with my taste in color. It's hard to say which is more practical, the hematite violet or the burnt scarlet. To me, for my kind of painting, neither of them are practical. However, I am very impressed with the wide knowledge and practical knowledge that this community has. So if you have a really good use or a favorite use for the hematite violet, then do let us know in the comments down below and we would love to learn from you. I do definitely find this texture very interesting and I can definitely see this texture and just this gradation working really well on the stormy dusk landscape skies. So what do you think of Hematite Violet? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye!